Got our tail, tail light lenses here off our Santa Fe trailer. They're not super bad. Um, but I think I will go ahead and give this a try. A little bit faded out. So we're gonna try this Nightshades uh, tail light spray paint. And it's supposed to work pretty good from what I've seen on other videos. Um, the instructions don't say anything about sanding. And I've seen people sanding them with 1000 grit uh, on other videos. But since the instructions don't say anything about it, I'm not gonna do that. But I will clean them up with some soap and water um, and just hit them with this uh, scotch right pad. Give them a good wash just with some soap and warm water and it revealed a couple things. Um, when you're viewing the light from the inside, or the lens from the inside, you can see how the tops that are exposed, that have been exposed to the sun the whole time, are uh, almost clear instead of uh, red. And then as you turn it to get to the bottom, you get a deep red. So the tops are pretty sun faded. The bottom is a lot more of a red color. So, but not only that, when I was washing this one, it actually broke. And there's a chunk right here that broke off just when I had a small, almost like a toothbrush size brush that I was scrubbing the inside with and it broke. Um, and then looking closer, you could see that there are a bunch of tiny cracks in this one. So, huh, what I might do, and there's even a crack running the length there. So what I might do is um, just repair these for now, um, just to see if it's if this spray works. Uh, and but I probably end up ordering new ones. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. I've got an old, nasty like, soldering iron here. It's pretty trashed, but I'm gonna use. It. So what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm gonna actually weld instead of using. Um, like a super glue or something, I'm gonna actually weld. Try to weld this piece back in. So let's give it a try. You can see this long crack here. And then this is one crack, the other crack is right there. And, that, and so I just set the bro broken piece right back in there. I'm going to attempt to do a little bit of welding here. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I'm not sure if the camera is going to be able to catch this, but I'm going to try to almost make like a Run a bead here, it's just with the heat and melting the plastic together. A little oscillation. So we can pass inspection here when the weld inspector shows up. Just kidding. Check that out. See that? Not too bad, man, not too bad. Look at that bead, it's like a stack of dimes. Just kidding. But, um, so I kinda, you know, I, I welded that piece back in and then I kinda chased the crack a little bit more that was going this direction. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it on the outside because I don't want to disturb the nice smooth finish. Um, so you can kinda see the, those beads or welds, I guess if you wanna call them, from this side. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it smooth. I don't want to put a ton of work into running a bead on this side and then sanding it down and blah blah, you know. So let's hit it with some paint and see how it goes. Nice and clean, all dried off. Um, it says to do two to three light coats. 10 to 15 minutes in between coats. Sounds like a plan. Let's see how it goes. 
Alright, I've seen some other videos that said this stuff is really thin, but uh, and it doesn't go on like regular paint, but let's, let's try it. It is pretty thin. Watch it. Alright. Let her dry. Time for a second coat. Now you can really see how it's transparent there. It's not really red. So let me hit that real quick here. Same thing on this one. Jeez, this stuff is so thin. Be super careful, man. It'd be a lot easier if I wasn't holding my cell phone. Okay, second coat on, let's let it dry. I'm going to uh, go ahead and spin this around. Try to get a different angle here. All right. So, Pretty good, pretty good, I gotta say. You can see the, uh, that's our welded joint there. So I do have a little bit of a run right there. I don't know if you can see it, but oh well. What do you do? Let's hit it. Coats, let her dry. It's been about a half an hour since that third coat, so I am going to get under it. Check it out. So, this is the top where it was really light. Before. And there's our, there's our crack, broken piece. So there's some orange peel. We can see it in the light, in the reflection of the light. I'm not sure if that will go away after it dries. This says it takes 24 hours to completely dry, but it's dry to the touch in 30 minutes. But the, the color looks pretty good. spot right there you see that I don't know if I missed that or if that's actually drying hmm. I can't tell if that's uh, just drying like that or if I missed that spot because it looks like I missed it it looks like it's Drying like kind of flat, where this looks nice and glossy. Maybe I should uh, do a fourth coat. You know what I'll do? I'll do a fourth coat. I'll let that dry for 24 hours, and we'll come back to it. But uh, you can see a run right there. It got a little heavy in that corner. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right, it's the next day. It's been uh, 22, well, 22 hours. Um, I think they look amazing. Um, most of that orange peel is gone. I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, it's a lot less than it was. And the color is just great, I think. Even, let's see, this is labeled top, so this would be the sun faded side. 
And remember how different the shade of red was when you rotated it to the top. So that's, I mean, that looks great. Okay, so on the instructions for this uh, red lens spray, it says to, if you want to do an extra coat of protection, you can get a clear lacquer. So I am going to, to go ahead and do a clear lacquer and uh, let them dry for another day. Another 24 hours, clear coat is dried. Let's see if I can get a picture of the gloss. So, <clears throat> This is the first time I'm looking at it, sorry. Um, I think it looks amazing. Uh, there might be some fine dust that got trapped in the clear, but you know what? This is not a show car. These are some plastic tail lights. So I think it looks great. Um, here's our, you can see that repair. So we'll see how long that lasts, I don't know. But God, the color just turned out amazing. Like. I think it's great. So <clears throat> the decision I guess you'd have to make is that, you know, this is, it was like $13 for the red paint and um, another five, I think, for the can of clear. So by the time you do that and your time, and you know, three days of painting and drying and so it's up to you. But you know, it's pretty cool because these are like the original taillights made in Detroit, Michigan. Kind of cool, you know, and we'll see how long they last. Um, I'll repaint the housings and get the lights in on another video, but uh, other than that, it turned out pretty good. Thanks for watching.